If you follow my channel, you know I love red dots and I review any and all I get my hands on, you know, and I'm just always on the quest for the best bang for your buck. And that means quality at a great price. You also know I like certain features and I also want it tough and, and I'm gonna torture test it. Now at SHOT Show, I discovered a company called NorthTac and they were new to me, hadn't heard of them before. Uh, they sent me Hobo Mode with one and I tested their red dot and it was quality and it was tough and it was affordable. So I said, hey, you know, you got a couple others I wouldn't mind checking out. Why don't you send those to me? They did. So I've got a magnifier and I've got the M10 and the magnifier is the MX3. What I did was, is I put those on my Foxtrot mic. I've really been having fun with this. I also stuck a Trigger Tech a Combat in here, so I'm kind of just having some fun all around. Got my can on here. Let's put these North Tacks to the test, see how they perform, how they stand up. My torture test, check them out. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I love it. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, what I found with NorthTac that I really like is their optics or KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. They're not the sexiest. They're just solid and durable, which we're going to test. Take a quick look at the specs and tech of the two of these, and I have found the two of them together for a crazy, stupid price. Okay, I really don't do out of the box anymore, but I just, I wanted to show you that these come in a nice case real quick. Some people like that. You know, here's the magnifier, and then we'll do an up close here. So on the magnifier, there isn't any button or anything to flip. We just have some resistance. Um, th there's pros and cons to that. Personally, I like to have a button because I had noticed when I mounted this, I can shake it or you know, moving it fast and it'll flick to the side or it'll flick back up. Some people like that. I personally really don't care for that. I'd rather have the button. Um, and we'll show you when we get it mounted. It's got a really nice, clear, clean picture. We've got the fine focus knob here, and then we've got the turrets for adjusting your red dot to the center. And then the M10, you know, we open that up. It's got our instructions and warranty, all that comes with the tool and pretty simple. Okay, both of these have this kind of attachment, which I do like. It makes it really easy to put them on. You get it on the rail there and then you can just cinch it down. And then we've got windage and an elevation on both sides and then the buttons right here. It's got a nice field of view. You know, it's just, it's KISS. It's solid, let's get it mounted and get it zeroed in and see what we can do with the two of these. Let's get these zeroed, have some fun. I'm gonna do that on my 50 yard range. I'm gonna bag it back there at the house. Then I'm gonna come back here and bang on some steel, make sure that it's, it's doing well. And then I'm gonna take these off and I'm gonna torture test them. And then I'm gonna put them right back on the exact same spot. Make sure of course that you know they haven't cracked and filled with water or something. And then we're gonna see how they do, see if they stayed zeroed. Okay, let's just load it up and you know, have a little fun with each of those. Anyway, let's just see how we do here uh, transitioning. No problem there. That was, that was fun. Oh, also, before I forget, 
I'm also using my Amend 2 mags. Been using these for a while, been having great luck with these. You might want to check them out. I have seen some crazy, stupid sale uh, really cheap on those. Anyway, all right, let's go here and uh, see how the Tula does. Sweet, guys. Okay, I'm going to focus. I want to see how fast I can get off 10 rounds of this Sergeant Major here at 25 yards. Oh, that's nice. Boy, that's nice. Okay, got a beautiful night here. The wind finally died. My pond is glass. Let's reach out at 300, I've got the magnifier. I will say that this is one of the most clean, crisp circles on a red dot I've ever seen. We should be able to hopefully hit that and bang away here. Oh, <laughs> uh, I like them both. I love that trigger and I love that dot. All right, it's getting late, but I'm going to take these off tomorrow. We're going to torture test them. We'll put them back on and we'll see if we can do the same thing. And that's what we call proof in the pudding. Folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, home of the crazy stupid deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. That's a beautiful morning. Okay, we've been in there a half hour. Okay, first glance, do not see any water penetration. They seem to be intact. All right, let's continue. So I got both of them here. <laughs> Peacock. Anyway, I have been told actually by several optics companies that my torture test, especially the drop test, makes them nervous. I, being an overachiever sometimes, I was worried that it wasn't enough. But anyway, I feel pretty good about that. So that apparently scares a lot of optic companies. Let's go check them out. All right. And that is a good, you know, 17 foot drop. We'll check these out after we get them mounted back on. Okay. The next thing is, is I freeze them. And one of the reasons that I freeze them is to show that, you know, they'll, they'll still be on at sub-freezing temperatures. The other thing is when they're purged, you know, nitrogen or whatever purge, and then after submersion, when you freeze them, if there is any leak that's not really visible and any moisture got in, the freezing and then when it thaws out will cause condensation, and it's actually after the freezing process that I have found uh, or discovered when optics fail. 
toss them in there. And I I've also found that a half hour is always more than adequate for freezing an optic solid. Okay, they should be good and frozen. We still got a red dot in there. And <laughs> that was actually stuck there to the back wall. Yeah, okay, they're frozen. Let's get them thawed out and get them back on the gun. Got a couple of naysayers and trolls. Anyway, there you go. There's absolutely no doubt that that was frozen, is frozen. Okay, so we got them torture tested, got them back on. I know I did not re-zero, I did not adjust or do anything. I just simply stuck them back on. Let's see what we can do at 300 yards, just like we were doing last night. Got a little bit of wind today. Hopefully we'll be all right here. There we go. That's awesome. Okay, kind of interesting here. I wanted to get it zeroed with some Hornady, a little bit more accurate so I could really reach out there and have some fun. And after the torture test, you know, considering it was zeroed for the Sergeant Major, you know, that, that's really pretty good. Um, what's interesting though is, okay, so that's left. So I want to adjust right. So as I'm turning it to the right, it's, it's going the other way. It's also high, so at least the way I'm used to adjusting and zeroing is I want to move it down. So I look for the arrow down because I want to bring my group down, and as I'm turning it down, it's, it's going up. So either I'm just having a complete and total brain fart today, or this is reversed. Again, I'm not ruling out um, a complete and total brain fart on my part because that happens actually quite regularly, but... You see here, right, I'm turning it right to get my group to go right, and it's going left. So to me, that seems opposite. Again, could just be a really bad day, and I'm remembering this wrong. Okay, my groups are high, so I want to adjust it down. So I should be turning it down, but it's going high. Okay, yeah. You know, now here's the thing. Here's the thing that I'm getting out of this. Um, it, it appears that the arrow, at least for me, is going the wrong way. Again, unless I'm just having a, you know, massive brain fart day. But, you know, I was, I was dialing up and left, or sorry, I was dialing down and right. And it was going this way. So we reversed that. So I was turning up and left and it brought it back down here okay so then when i got it down here then i dialed i turned it down and it started bringing it up and this was my last three shots with that hornady and that is great and i want to say again this the the dot that i'm seeing and it just won't do it justice the dot that i'm seeing even with the magnifier is the cleanest crispest sharpest red dot that I have ever seen. So, you know, if I got to remember to reverse those, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'd like to see them change that, but let's reach out at some real distance now because this is why I wanted to re-zero with the Hornady and see just how far we can go. Okay, so we got it zeroed using the Hornady. Can get some really good groups. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here at 300. I'm not gonna even mess with with 200. <laughs> okay, that's how it's supposed to be. Let's reach up there. Let's try 400. Let's see what we can do with 400. There we go. All right, I just needed to compensate. We can do a few more. Okay, let's try 400 again up there.
Let's try five. <laughs> I love it. Red dot, three power, 500, nice. There you go, guys. That says, well, that says a lot about several things. It says a lot about the ammo. It says a lot about the trigger tech that I've got in here. It says a lot about the Foxtrot mic, but it also says a lot about the red dot. I guarantee you at 500 yards, I could not do this if that dot was not as clean and crisp as it is. And I know you guys know what I mean when you're talking about the dots, when you get separation. At 500 yards, that's gonna be huge. You know, I could be all over the place. This dot is crisp and clean, and it allowed me to easily do that at four and 500. Um, anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Subbing does the most, really does help the channel. Um, until next time, guys, happy shooting. Remember, anytime that you're shooting, you're an ambassador for the Second Amendment, so be a safe and responsible gun owner.